What's happening everybody and welcome back to Bangkok on this Monday afternoon. Now I'm actually outside of MRT Lat Prao train station. I'm at exit 2 because we're going to go today to the German Donner Kebab restaurant in of course Lat Prao. Now there's also several locations around the city, I will put those in the description box below. Maybe there's a one that's a little bit nearer to you. But for today we're going to check this one out. So you go to MRT Lat Prao, exit 2, it's around about a 5 minute walk and then you'll find the German Donner Kebab. I can't wait to get in here, get stuck into the food. It looks so fresh and so tasty. So without further ado, let's go. Boom. Absolutely sensational and once again we are in the kitchens and we've got our food on the table right now that we're going to try. Now we've got the original doner kebab here, I got this one with chicken and I also got it with the special sauce and garlic sauce as well, look at it, it looks loaded. We've got the pizza wrap as well, once again I got this with chicken, you do have the option if you want to get it with beef, but I got this one with chicken, the pizza wrap, look at the size of this, oh, deary me, wow wow wow. Oh, that smells sensational. Oh, sorry. And of course, we'll have to cover the veggie option. So for that reason, we've got the falafel feta salad. And you can see once again, look at the size of that. Very generous portions. It's, oh, and it smells so fresh. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to get tucked in. So let's start. I think first, what we're going to start with is... Ah, uh, what's happening, everybody? Thank you for joining us once again as we are exploring Bangkok's kitchens. As you know today we are at the Berlin Donner Kebab restaurant in Lat Prao. They gave us behind the scenes footage of what goes down in their kitchens and you can just see the, oh look at that, the chicken on that spit there, the fresh bread going on the press. Once again, a massive thank you for the staff for letting us come in and film. It must not be easy when you've just got a camera shoved in your face in your workplace. So we're just assembling the original Donner Kebab here. Got our two sauces on. I went for the, the special sauce and the garlic sauce. Got our meat on there, generous portions. Plenty of salad. So fresh. Oh, dearie me. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> and now time for the pizza wrap. This was delicious as well, by the way. I really recommend this one. As were all the foods that we tried. Once again, well garnished with salad. Generous helping to meat. Weird out too, so you're always going to get a good portion. On this one, I got garlic sauce and yogurt sauce. Oh, when that all comes together, wow. And there it is, a big size too. And finally, we're going to have our Feta falafel salad. Got the falafel going in the deep fat fryer. We've got three falafel with our feta falafel salad. Once again, generous layering of salad. Oh, that was gorgeous. The yellow peppers, the tomatoes, and the cucumber. Bit of fresh onion. The thing that made this for me was uh, the feta, the feta cheese. You could tell it was of uh, high quality. So there we go again, I hope you enjoy the new channel that we've got going or the new concept on the channel that we have going where we go in the kitchens. Let me know in the comment box below. Do you think it's good that we're in the kitchens or do you think we can be doing something else? 
All right, time to get stuck in. Ho, ho, ho. All right, so first things first, we've got to start with the doner kebab, haven't we? This is the original. So let's just have a look inside of this. Wow, you can see the fresh salad. That is packed to the rafters, that one. I'm actually a bit unsure how I'm gonna tackle this, but let's see. First of all, what we'll do is we'll get tucked in, try a bit of the salad. Let's have a look at that there, nice and fresh. Oh, oh. Oh. That special sauce has a little bit of a zinc to it. Coupled with the garlic. Oh, my dears. Now let's tackle this, see if we can get a bite out of this without creating a mess. Look at that. Here we go. Check this out here. <laughs> Everything comes together amazingly well inside that donor wrap. Got the meat delicately spiced, not too overpowering. You've got the sauces once again, not too rich, very nice, copping out the salad well and the meat. And then you've also got the bread, the sesame seeds on the top, fresh bread, it's just all round, a delight in a bite. So wow, let's have another look at this one. I'm gonna to have to get another taste, I'm so sorry. Oh my days. Mm. Wow. My dears, I've got to be honest, I wasn't expecting that to be as tasty as what it was. So for that reason, I don't know how this pizza wrap's gonna go down, but it's gonna be a storm, no doubt. So let's just have a look at this. Look at the size of this. Look at the size of that. Incredible. Get a nice close-up inside there as well. Oh, that just looks, oh, scrumptious. Once again, this one was made with chicken. I got garlic sauce and yogurt sauce. Me two dips that go inside, or me two sauces that go inside. Once again, made with salad, and it's on a thin bread with kind of like, I think it's like a kind of tomato base on there, which is maybe why it's called the pizza wrap. So let's get tucked into this. Look at the size of that. Oh, got a bit, got a bit chicken going astray there. If there is one thing I'm very cautious about doing these videos is I want to be as truthful as I can when I review the food because you know it's easy just to be like oh this is delicious this is gorgeous and whatever whatever no exaggeration that was sublime that was unbelievable we've got the vegetarian option next which is the feta falafel salad I've got high hopes for that as well once again knocked out of the park remember to check this place out I will put the locations in the description box below for you as well Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, and finally we have the feta falafel salad. Now, if you're familiar with Middle Eastern food, you'll no doubt know what a falafel is. It's kind of like a chickpea ball mix or whatever it is kind of thing, and the deep fried. And also we've got the feta salad in there, the feta cheese, sorry, in there as well with the salad. Look at that. Oh, and a nice little bit garnish as well. Once again, the portions are fantastic. Oh, that's got a lot of weight about it, that. Let's get tucked in. Of course, we're going to go straight in with the falafel. Inside that falafel there, you can see, look, the nice fresh colour. You can see some of the little herbs popping out there as well. Let's give this a little bit of a taste. Let's have a look. Oh. Mm. Now, the thing about falafel is, I'm not a vegetarian but I can happily eat falafel on a daily basis. It's so nice, very versatile as well. Absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable. We're gonna try the feta cheese with the salad once again. Just to tell you just how fresh it is. You can see it yourself. You can see it, you can see on the camera how fresh this food is. Look at those lovely vibrant colors. Oh, wow. I'll feel healthy for the rest of the day now. Good quality feta. Mm, it almost melts in the mouth. If 
finely. I'll get some of the falafel and the feta and the salad, just for the big one up. Let's have a look. Peppers in there. Yellow peppers, tomatoes, onions, a bit of lettuce. Oh. My ideas. Mm. That is everything a fresh salad should be, especially on a day like this where it's absolutely roasting outside. So fresh. Oh. Energizing almost, you can say that if you when you eat your food. And once again, this is the vegetarian option. There's also several vegetarian options available on the menu. I'll leave a link below so you can have a good look at the menu. I'll even get a video at the end. At the end of the video, you can see the full menu. We'll get that for you as well. And you can check out and find something that is to your taste. So once again, we've got the doner wrap kebab with chicken. We've got the pizza wrap. And we've got the feta and falafel salad. Now, it's been an incredible experience. Just being in the kitchen even here today, I want to take this opportunity to thank the staff for letting us come in and make the video if you did enjoy the video i'd massively appreciate if you could like it and leave a comment and also if you would like to subscribe to my channel it's free of charge i've got so much passion about getting good value for money in bangkok and also trying the best food so once again thank you for watching everybody and i hope you have a great day wherever you are in the world i'm going to get tucked in now with my cameraman once again this is the his reward for coming and helping me today so anyway everybody thank you so much Thank you. You can also see here the curry verst. If you're familiar with the curry verst, if you've been to Germany, you'll know the bratwurst sausage with the curry and French fries. That is a very popular classic in Germany. So I also recommend that you try that as well. You can see they've got plenty of options on the menu. Once again, it's in the full pan at the end of the video. Berlin doner kebab. Got the doner kebab. You've got a chicken, beef, or a falafel alternative right there. The Donner wrap, chicken, beef, falafel. Once again, the Donner quesadilla. Now, I didn't try that one. That's available in the chicken and beef variant. The Donner wrap pizza, chicken and beef. We got the chicken, absolutely delicious. And then we've got some of the Donner boxes down there, which you can have a look at, as I say, when we pan the video. Once again, what a great experience it is. This is just a little bit bonus footage for you at the end after watching the video. Check this place out. Early Donner Kebab in Lat Prau. Oh. And wow, the staff actually just see me making quite a scene of the curry burst and they asked me would I like to try and of course I would. Now if you're not familiar with the curry burst, it's made with bratwurst sausage sliced and it's topped with a curry ketchup kind of sauce and of course you've got your french fries. Now there's a promotional set on at the moment but I will put the price on the bottom of the screen as always and it includes a drink as well and I went for homemade fresh yuzu lemonade homemade fresh yuzu lemonade if you're not familiar with yuzu it's a japanese thing tasty refreshing unbelievable let's get started get to into the curry burst and stop talking let's just taste right here we go oh look at that there now i've already mentioned the trials and tribulations of finding a good sausage in thailand so let's see delicious as they say in Thailand or for my viewers who are from Thailand I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video and the Aroi Mak very tasty thank you